We are very much looking forward to next year's program here at the Kunstmuseum Basel. We will have three major temporary exhibitions. We will start with one of the pioneers of abstract art in Europe and beyond, and that is Sophie Teuber Arp. It will be the first time, really, to bring her work to a large international audience, starting here in Basel, then going on to London, and from there to New York. We are very much looking forward to give this great artist, who is really a pioneer, for the first time, a large international exposure. The second show will be given to a very important voice in contemporary art, Kara Walker, whose position, I believe, could not be more relevant and more timely in today's world. It will be the first time that she has a museum exhibition in Switzerland. In the fall of 2021, we are looking forward to an exhibition that is uh, also timely, we believe. Uh, Kami Pissarro is well known as one of the founders of Impressionism, but his impact as a figure of integration, as a, someone who really brought artists and different people together, is not well known. And this is what we will show in this exhibition. Pissarro was sort of a father figure for all of the younger artists, among them Cézanne and Monet, uh, Gauguin, uh, Seurat, Signac, uh, Degas, all of which were sort of his friends. And what we will show is his role as a big inspirer in this group. In March, we want to open a great retrospective about the Swiss artist Sophie Teuber Arp. Sophie Teuber Arp was an exceptional artist in that she bridged the divide, so prominent usually in art history, between applied arts on the one hand and high abstract art on the other hand. So she started out her career as an applied artist, creating tiny beaded bags that are colorful and shiny, and then moving on into something like full-blown abstraction during her Paris years in the 30s. Sophie Teuber Arp worked with a plethora of material, for example, glass beads or wood as a material that was quite uncommon still at the time. From wood, for example, she created marionettes in 1918, and then later moved on to create furniture, but also reliefs that are fully abstract. In 1943, Sophie Teuber Arp died tragically through an accident. So what we see in the exhibition, even if we mount her work in its entirety, it is not an oeuvre that has been fulfilled and found its natural ending, but it's the work of an artist who has been taken from life way too early. And that is something that we want to reflect in the exhibition too. In this great collaboration with the Museum of Modern Art in New York and the Tate in London, the Kunstmuseum Basel will show you over 250 works of this wonderful Swiss artist. Many people in Switzerland may still be familiar with at least Sophie Teuber Arp's face, if not her art, because she for a time appeared on the 50 franc note. So this, you could say, is the perfect opportunity for all of you to get to know Sophie Teuber Arp's oeuvre, not just her face. The Kunstmuseum Basel has the privilege of showing a very exceptional exhibition with the famous artist Kara Walker. Since the mid-90s, she's been producing black silhouettes on white walls. More recently, she's been very known for monumental sculptures she's made, for instance, for the Tate Modern in London, for the Turbine Hall. She has been dealing with this very outrageous and, and painful history of slavery, discrimination and racism against black people in the US. She has been dealing with her own identity as a black artist, as a woman today. But we will show Carol Walker the way you've never seen her before. We will focus on the core of her artistic practice, and these are the drawings. 
Kara Walker has opened her archive for us and will show 600 drawings, silhouettes, collages and writings that she's never shown to anybody. They were too intimate, too provocative and also provisional to be shown in exhibitions. But we have the opportunity to show them to you. We will cast a very new light on this artist. It will give new insights into the way she thinks and works, how she's dealing with very personal questions of her own biography as a black woman and a black artist in the US. The exhibition will also include recent work, uh, for instance, very charged portraits of Barack Obama that are dealing with current events. The show will also make clear how relevant her work is today, how it's related to the political situation in the US, and also to the Black Lives Matter movement, which has shown to be so important on a global scale. You will have the chance to meet a new Kara Walker that you have not known until today. I believe Pissarro is especially interesting today because instead of dividing people, he brought them really together. He was kind of a father figure, sometimes he cared more about his artist friends, mostly all of them actually younger than him, than for himself, and that is a, a very unusual trait in, in the art world. Another fact that makes Pissarro really outstanding and interesting today is he was an outsider. He was the only one who was not French uh, in that uh, group, together with Mary Cassatt, but Pissarro was among the founders. He was of Jewish origin, he was born in the Caribbean, and it is interesting that coming from the outside, he uh, played that role as someone who integrated everybody else. I believe uh, Pissarro is one of the most interesting cultural figures of the 19th century, and this exhibition will show him not only as that, but as a great artist who inspired many others. We will see most interesting dialogues with other artists. The show will therefore be extremely rich and will even present figures of the Impressionist movement that the public usually uh, doesn't know or maybe has never even heard of. Uh, it will be really not just a repetition of another Impressionist show, but uh, I believe a very innovative and different uh, exhibition.